This time, let's recall what we have discussed about the speed, velocity, and acceleration. Maybe some of you did not um, listen carefully about what you have discussed about these topics, but I will recall so that everyone can understand. Okay, so let's talk about speed. So speed is expressed in meter per second. Take note of that, meter per second. It could be kilometer per hour, kilometer per hour. They are still the same. Take note, this meter here is a distance. This kilometer here is a distance. So that means, because the formula of speed is equals to, you have the speed is equals to distance over time, right? That is the formula of speed, distance over time. So you have here distance, meter, kilometer is still distance, second is a still a time, r is still a time. So they are what we call speed. So when you divide the distance by its time, so that is the speed. How about velocity? So let's recall about velocity. Velocity class is just has its direction. We have a certain speed and you have a certain direction. Like, for example, you are from south and you move to north and you have a certain speed. That is what we call velocity. Like, for example, teacher J ran faster from his house, go to his neighbor from the north part of his, uh, of his house, or I mean, north part of Cebu, which is um, its direction. So that means when you say velocity, we have V. If you get the velocity, you have V and have an arrow above of it so that it is indicated as, it is indicated as what? Velocity. Okay, take note of that. So let's try, uh, uh, let's try an example. Okay, let's try an example. Um... Okay, let's try an example. Like for example, you have a what we call a a formula uh a given like this. I'll try to write the given. So let's try, for example, we have this kind of a, what we call a given. So J, J ran one R with a distance of four kilometers. So what is its speed? So we have the speed is equals to um, distance over time. You must always write the formula in getting this one and write the given. So let's write the given here. Given. So what is a given in the? So we have this one is being asked, right? So what is what is the distance? Distance is four kilometer. And the time is. What is the time? We have the time of one hour. Okay, so we just divide those. So take note, if answering this one, you should show the formula and then you'll be doing the, the process. So put the distance above it. We have four kilometer. over one R. So 
we have the 1R here. So 4 divided 1 is equals to 4 divided 1 is equals to, what is your answer? Is it still a 4? Yes, it is still a 4. So, so J ran 4 kilometer per hour. So, that is the speed of J. Take it of that class. Okay. Okay, let's try another examples about velocity. Okay, let's erase this one. Okay, let's erase this one. Let's have another example. Okay, let's erase this one. Okay. So like for example, you have a, you need to get the, you need to get the velocity. What is your formula? Yes, I think you know it's already, right? So the formula of velocity is, is still the same with the speed. But the difference is you have what? You have a, yes, very good. You have a direction. So you read here the V with an arrow. So it indicated a velocity. Then still the formula will distance over time. So like, for example, you have this given. I'm going to write the given here. I mean, sorry, not the given, the um, problem. So, still J run from north to south with the speed of, I'm uh, sorry, with um, five kilometer distance in just Okay, let's try this one. In just um 30 minutes. So how do you answer this one? So since we have um take note that in answering the uh the distance, we can also um answering by minutes, by seconds, but most likely if you have kilometer, take note it the corresponds to this 30 minutes will be an hour. So this one 30 minutes here represents 0 0.5 hour so that means half an hour so we are going to answer this one okay so you have v or sorry uh, velocity and and put the distance oh take note sorry i forgot write first the given take note to write the given so that you will not be confused class Okay, what is a given? We have, this one is being asked, right? So the distance is um, five kilometer How about the time? The time is, we're going to write here, since it's 30 minutes, you're going to write zero point zero point five. Okay, I forgot to write the point. 0 0.5 R. So that is a given. So right. So again, to put here some question mark. Okay. So let's solve this one. Mm, this is the the formula. Okay, this is the formula. Just copy it. So just direct this one. The distance is five kilometers. So you have five kilometers there. And then divided by 0 0.5 r so what is your answer since it's 0 0.5 r you have 10 is it right 10 kilometer per hour 
right? Okay, so you have 10 km per hour. So that is the speed of J. Going to, right? don't forget to write the, since it's velocity, don't forget to write the N, or you're going to write, since, oh, sorry, uh, J is going to the south, right? Yes. So you're going to write here, south. Okay? Don't forget that. Okay. So you are going to write south. S or south. Still the same. That's the correct answer. So that is the velocity. So now let's move to the acceleration. Since you guys is... Uh, you already know what is accelerate uh, the velocity and the speed, so we need to calculate the accelerations. I think this is new to your class, right? Okay, let's try. Okay, let's have an acceleration. Okay, let's continue about acceleration. So acceleration is computed by this following formula. Okay, the formula of acceleration is this one. So um, we have an A, this acceleration is equals to velocity final minus velocity initial or speed sorry speed uh, vel um speed final minus speed initial divided by the time so this is one here is an f okay so let's have a certain given so let's try to answer this one this is how you get the acceleration and when you say acceleration again we have discussed this already that Acceleration is the change of speed of a certain um, given. Like, for example, um, I use a car, I drive a car, then at a certain point, I change my speed, and to the other point, I also change my speed. So it's going to be saying that you accelerated, that means um, you uh, move fast, or you decelerated or decelerate. That means you move or you um you drive slower from its um initial. Okay, we have this acceleration give uh formula. So we first we are going to write the given. So what a given is 10 kilometer per hour to 30 kilometer per hour. That means it's very obvious that your your uh velocity final is Sorry, your velocity final is 30 kilometer. Okay, so right here, 30 kilometer. 30 kilometer per hour. Okay, your um velocity initial, sorry, speed initial, I was really forget this. This is a speed. Okay, your speed final is 30 kilometer, your speed initial is 10 kilometer per hour. Okay, I think 30 km per hour and 10 km per hour. So, okay, so what is your, with a certain time, with a given time, with a given time of, what is the time? Three hours. So you have here three hours. Okay, that is the time. Okay, we're going to write this formula here and just imagine that we have this formula here. Huh? So we're going to write here the equation. So the velocity final is this one, 30 kilometer. 30 kilometer. Per hour. 
This is the that's the final. While the velocity initial is sorry, speed initial is ten kilometer per hour. Still a per hour. And divided by the three hours. Okay. 30 minus 10 is... Yeah. First thing you're going to do is this one. 30 minus 10. So you have 20, right? 20. Then just bring down this kilometer here. Uh, three hours here. So, so 20 kilometer is... The answer when you um subtract thirty kilometer per hour. So what is the acceleration? So your acceleration will be twenty divide three. What is your answer? Twenty divide three. We have six point six. Right, six point six. Right, the kilometer per hour. Since it's, there are two R here, R's and R, so there, there, there are two, uh, there are two times, two time, times and time. Okay, so you're going to write here squared. So that is the acceleration. So acceleration is equal to six point six kilometer per hour squared. This is the final answer, and this is how you are going to get your acceleration i think that would be all for today and i i hope you have a good day and i hope that you understand what i'm talking here right now and i hope that you are going to study for this coming quarter day exam have a great night have a good day and goodbye